every piece in the program has um, a stage reference, uh, beginning with uh, the great Pasagalia from Peter Grimes, where uh, we can feel the mounting tension on stage as the orchestra builds in a traditional Pasagalia, Pasagalia being, I guess, Paco Bell's canon is the most simple form of uh, Pasagalia that one can think of. It just builds and builds over the same um, bass line the whole time. But um, it's, it's cumulative energy, but it's a crowd, and it's the turmoil inside Grimes. And it's only uh, five minutes long, but it has these bookend um, viola solos that just describe the inner turmoil of this man. And um, it's a rare opportunity to hear this music in, in the concert hall in isolation. But um, the second of the viola solos is not in the opera, so it makes it a particularly exciting excerpt. And um, I was always influenced by Britain, so uh, my concerto, the Songs of the Paradise Saloon, um, there's a scene in the first act of my opera, The Inventor, which takes place in this pub in central Manhattan. It took a lot of careful research. And um, in this pub, um, there are all kinds of people from all over the world. A pub in New York with people from all over the world, can you imagine? So there's Scotsmen there, there are Irishmen, there are people from Eastern Europe, Russians, there are French, Germans, and um, each one of them has their favorite bar songs, as it were. And so the songs of the Paradise Saloon take various leitmotifs from the opera, in particular a theme that's played at the very beginning. And we hear the optimism of the central character of the opera, a man called Alexander Keith, who was a terrible, terrible individual. Um, he was a con man. He had children all over the place. Uh, he was um, clearly sociopathic in terms of his behavior, but somehow or other we still have sympathy for him. And in the concerto, we hear him in New York trying to make good of his life, trying to make deals so that he can go on to the next town. But unfortunately, some people he's already conned um, catch up with him in the Paradise Saloon. Um, and uh, in, that's in the opera. In the concerto, I imagine what the scene would have been like the night before when uh, he was just wandering around with lots of friends there. And um, I quite enjoy doing this in opera, just imagining sometimes what happens the night before and what happens the night after events that we see on stage. But this time I was able to breathe some life into it. Our soloist for Songs of the Paradise Saloon is Alison Balsam, the great uh, British uh, trumpeter. We performed the piece together in Los Angeles last season at Walt Disney Hall. And um, this is, um, uh, whilst the character of Alexander Keith um, is completely 180 degrees different from Alison herself, um, her virtuosity and her dexterity and her beautiful sound um, helps sing through these songs of the Paradise Saloon. So it'll be a pleasure to uh, hear her perform the concerto again. And then in the second half, we've got this marvelous score by Gershwin, Catfish Row, a suite that Gershwin himself put together, and I believe played in Philly back in 1937 when he was on tour, uh, including um, excerpts from the famous Jasper Brown piano solo on a honky-tonk piano, which I'm going to play myself at the front. And then um, these excerpts that describe some of the characters, um, some of the great hit tunes from the opera, uh, but something of the journey of Porgy, who is such a good man and who has led such a song and a dance by Bess. Um, and uh, this excerpt, this famous uh, uh, excerpt which Gershwin took on tour, um, called Catfish Row, after the place where the opera is supposed to happen. Um, we just get a great flavor of the duskiness, the darkness, and yet the sense of living that the people have on stage. Um, in Porgy and Bess, uh, the great characters. And then finishing with um, Bernstein's phenomenal symphonic dances from West Side Story. And uh, these famous dances with the leitmotif um, somewhere, uh, which also happens to be um, the same notes as Maria, uh, the famous tune. And this whole thing put together in a beautiful smorgasbord of uh, rhythm and energy that um, is inimitably Bernstein and um, just brings the program to a great conclusion. I'm hugely looking forward to it with the great Philadelphia Orchestra who are just so wonderful uh, to work with. And um, I'm, it's the second time they'll have played my music. So I'm very excited as a composer and excited as I always am to come to Philadelphia.